All right, so for the first couple, you just had to, and I only gave you four, six, and eight because it did one of each. You had to just give me your critical cutoff value. Now, again, table five works really, really well for this. Table five has your T, it has degrees of freedom down the side. And for those of you that weren't here, uh, you need a table five? No, I don't think so. You have one? Sorry, do you need a table five? Table five has degrees of freedom down the side, so that reminds you. And then it has a one tail and a two tail. So you do not have to divide anything. So if your level of significance is 0.01 and it's a one tail, find your 0.01. Come down to your degrees of freedom, which is n minus 1, 34, and find that number. Now, that number will be positive because all these numbers are positive. If it falls on the left-hand side, make it a negative. Fill this in. This is reject H0. I don't want to see the word reject. Reject H0. This is fail to reject H0. Okay. So now when we go to test your test statistics, we'll know where, where it falls. We have a nice critical value for it. I call it the TC. They call it the T sub 0, whatever you want to call it. On the right tail test, same situation, you're still one tail. Look in your one tail, find your 0 .01, find your 30. Pull that off, that's positive, and that stays positive. This is reject H0, this is fail to reject H0. Okay. Your two tail test, use your two tail. Now go to two tail, find out where the 0 .10 is. Find out your 0 0.10, come down to your degrees of freedom, 37, and pull this number out. That, you don't have to divide anything in half. That is the positive and the negative. It has two reject regions. Now, for those of you that like the calculator skill, <coughs> inverse, do the second bear, inverse, T is for your table five. Put your, oh, how did that happen? Okay, so put your, yeah, now I just lost my OS part. Put your um, tail in there. So if you're doing a 0 0.01, put your 0 0.01 in there, and your, you have to give me the zero and the one. And your, I think your degrees of freedom go in here. Hang on, your degrees of freedom go in here. So if we're doing this guy, and degrees of freedom was 30, I think that's all this means. Yeah. So there's this piece over here. If you're doing a two-tail test, what you're going to have to do for this guy is this one, you're going to have to divide this in two. Oh, so now I'm back on. Does that make sense? Now I have to stop. So now it's point right zero divided by two. And your degrees of freedom for this guy was 37. That's why I find table five is nice to go through. And plug this in. And you're back in business. Okay? Number one is negative, one is positive. Table five is nice. It helps take up that step. Okay. The next one, 15 and 16. I wanted you to do with reject region. So you find your claim. The used car dealer says, here's his claim. Says that the mean price of a three-year-old sport utility in good condition is equals 20000 Start by writing your claim. If it has an equal sign, it's the HO. The HA, not equal to. Those are your two tabs. Label these reject H0. Fail to reject H0, reject H0. Find your critical value in Table 5. This is your test statistic. Now, the only difference here from your Z-score is the fact that you only have a sample standard deviation. But it works exactly the same. Same exact formula. 
find your have statistic and then come and see where it falls. Remember, this is a number line. The zero falls in the middle. So 1.5 falls about right here before this guy. So it falls in my fail to reject gate zero. This is your decision. This is your interpretation. If you have enough evidence to reject the claim, use the HO. And if I fail to reject it, I have to say there is not enough evidence at a level of 0.05 to reject the claim that the mean price of a sports utility uh, is 20,000. No, is 20,000. Make sure I get all that. Can we do this? Questions? I'm sure you have a question. Because we, we still in 7.2, which is the fourth, and we flip the key part. But the concept is still the same. The concept doesn't change. <coughs> the IRS claims, here's their claim, that the mean wait time for a call is at most, at most is the most you can get, less than or equal to. So therefore, the HA is greater than. Label your chart, find your critical value, again test it, you fall in your reject H0, that's your decision. Again, your claim is your HO, so you, you got to use the words reject, you got to follow your chart. There is enough evidence at a level of significance to reject the claim that the mean wait time is at most. Of course the IRS claims it's at most. So you call the IRS or anybody like that, any government thing, I guarantee you wait more than 15 minutes. But they want to not discourage you, so they say, come on, you only had to wait at most 15 minutes. Okay, I've been on the phone for half an hour. If you've ever called, you know, any time you call for anything, you know they always give you the wait time. Please be patient. The wait time is now 12 minutes. Yeah. And you're still on the phone after 20 minutes. 19. <clears throat> An environmentalist estimates that the mean waste recycled by a duck is more than one pound. So there's this claim, more than one pound. At the end, we see the word support. That's because this, the claim is an HA. So the word support follows the HA part. So just double check that that's working. So even though they say estimates, this is their claim. Because you can say, can I support this claim? And you support it. So you test that claim. That's his claim that they made. It's greater than. That's where the tail comes from. Okay. So the, the HO is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so pull out your information. Find your critical value. Again, label these parts. Once you spot this, this is your decision. Do not say reject the claim. Do not say reject. Say reject H0. And fill in your information. Everybody okay with this part? Yeah. Uh, you know that one with right tail again? Right tail because it says greater than 1. This is my HA. It points to the right. Okay. Whatever where that arrow points is where your tail goes. Okay. And that's the first one we saw out of these three. That used an HA as a claim. The other ones had HO as a claim. What if it's equal to? Equal to, then you got two tails because it's the not equal then. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I gave you 23. And you have to put this in your calculator to get your p-val for this. So set up your claim. Um, a country is considering raising this. A county is considering doing the speed limit on the road because they claim the mean speed is greater than 45 miles an hour. So there's your claim because they claim the mean is greater than 45. So they're going to test this to see should they in fact raise the speed limit. So this is one of the ways they test. They sample cars and they plot their speed, their standard deviation from their sample, and they want to know if they can support the word support. My claim is my HA. Again, right tail test. You don't have any critical values for this. You have to put this in your calculator. So we go. 
that test. We come down to the second one, T test. We put our information in. 45. My test, 48. My standard deviation, 5.4. My N, 25. Make sure you use your N. This follows the HA, so it's pointing to the right, and it's already pointing there. There's my p-value right here. It's the only way to get your p-value. So pull out your p-value and test p-value, level of significance. If it's smaller than the allowable error, then I reject H0. And in this case, it is smaller. So there's enough. If I reject my H0, I support my claim. There's enough evidence to support the claim that the mean speed limit is greater than 45 miles per hour at a level of significance of 0.10. Okay, one last one, guys, real quick. Oh, I didn't do 20. Oh, we have 27. So 27, you have to go to your table. That's what was nice about this. Do your L1 thing, one bear stat L1. Pull out your mean. Pull out your sample standard deviation. And then swap it in your calculator. The brochure blah, 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 indicates that's fewer. This is less than 32. So again, I'm using my support. This is an HA. I'm supporting. Make sure you use your mean and your sample standard deviation. Questions at all on this? You guys can deal with it. Okay.